Hi, I'm Tiago and this video is about Mayuere's painting The Sixth Swan. This one is inspired by the story The Sixth Swans by the Brothers Grimm. You can also watch an animation from the story in the description below. The idea is to get that precise moment where he morphs into a swan, like poof. And this is also the final painting for my upcoming fairy tale book. The technique I used this time was a little bit different because I completed the whole grayscale in colored pencil. Now you can only do this if you apply several coats of plaster on the canvas and make it as smooth as possible. After this, I started applying several glazes of color until I achieved the three-dimensional effect that I wanted. Now let's watch the video and you can see it all come together. So here I am drawing directly on the canvas. I do this after I am satisfied with the previous sketch, where I determine how the form and composition of the painting will be. After I do a rough drawing on the canvas, I start shading with Polychromos from Faber-Castell. You can do this if you smooth your canvas with plaster. This makes the grain of the canvas look a lot smoother and behave almost as paper would. So you can get very soft shadows with deep contrast. I use this specific color pencil, mostly the black one, because it is oil based and it is very hard. So you can get very fine details and you have perfect control over the shading. After the shading is done, you can seal it off and blend it better with an oil medium. You can use any medium of your choice. I personally prefer a wick one because it dries within a day. After the blending is complete, you can go ahead and intensify the shadows and highlights by applying your standard black and white oil color paint. And once you're satisfied with your Grisel painting, you can apply multiple glazes of color on top of it. This enhances the three-dimensional effect and all the depth that you've been building up so far. You achieve this by applying a transparent glaze of color and then highlighting. At this point, you no longer have to worry about the shadows because they were already taken care of in the previous step. Right here you can see me playing with light and shadow. Now this step is very important in creating the mood for your painting. This adds a lot of drama and after you went in and did all the details you have a lot of flexibility with this. At this stage of the painting I am only adding some finishing touches. These usually consist on highlighting certain areas that are the most important of the whole painting. By doing this step you bring the whole painting forward as if it were growing right out of the canvas. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, I do this series every week so don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss an episode. See you next time, bye.